Okay, up here on my kitchen ceiling, I have a device which is a heat sensor. And what we have inside it is this little electrical component up here. So this little component acts a bit like a kind of temperature switch. And what it does is it changes its resistance as the temperature changes. And it's really useful in kitchens because if you had a smoke alarm which detected smoke particles, then it would go off all the time. This one here acts as a heat sensor and it will only then set the alarm off. So what we have here is a kind of thermal resistor. And uh, you know, that's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, so what we tend to call it is a thermistor. Now the symbol for this is just a normal resistor with this line that goes through it. And the ones that we're particularly interested in are ones called NTCs, where this stands for negative temperature coefficient. What does that mean? Well, if we think about this graphically, what we can look at is a graph of the resistance in ohms versus perhaps the temperature in degrees Celsius. And uh, what happens is as the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. And the important thing to note is the first part of the graph over here. A small change in temperature means that we have a large change in the resistance. And because we have this large change in resistance, it's useful in many applications. How does it do this? Well, it's because it's a semiconductor. And what we have is that, that all the charge codes are kind of sort of locked within the material. When the temperature gets hotter and hotter, there's enough then energy for these electrons to kind of escape, and they can then move around and transfer charge around that circuit. So these are really used to monitor temperature in different situations. Perhaps inside the laptop it knows when the fan needs to turn on. Maybe in a car engine to make the engine warning lights come on if the oil gets too hot. Uh, as we've already seen in heat alarms in the kitchen, or perhaps in a kettle so it knows when to turn off. So really the last thing to look at are the IV characteristics of this uh, component. And this is completely the other way around to a filament lamp. With a filament lamp the resistance gets higher with a higher temperature. Here, because the resistance gets lower to higher temperature, what we see is that the line tends to get higher and higher rather than shallower and shallower.